And what do you get when you get all 413 villagers into your island? An umbrella. Whoa. Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and yes, that was a very disappointing intro. But this is the truth. When you get all 413 villagers into your happy home paradise resort, you get no rewards. I guess technically there's a milestone where if you get 400 homes sold, which you could buy because you're a millionaire, so you don't really need it. So thanks, Waldo. But surprisingly, selling every single villager in the game of Animal Crossing does not make you a GOAT designer, aka the greatest of all time designer, which is bull body. Like, what the f I also have some black men material for you. I actually have your amiibo card, and your eyes are a lot different than what happened. So you either had plastic surgery between these games, or you're not. Like, something's up, girl. Maybe the money you made from this game is what got you those cosmetics. I'm just saying. But anyways, this is the guy that will help you become a GOAT designer fast while avoiding all the mistakes I made. First things first, we gotta talk about ranking. There is an actual invisible ranking system in Happy Home Paradise. Here is the metrics. I have the link to the website in the description and if the link doesn't work, GG, I did not make this website. It is based on how many times you log into Happy Home Paradise per day, how many homes you build, how many roommates you paired, how many plots of lands you fill on the map, if you build every facility, if you use a Persian wall, which I didn't. So yeah, I. If you didn't do it, just do it now. And the last one, you shouldn't care about. The points aren't worth it. Um, it takes 20 minutes for you to, you know, talk to, to build a simple home. And uh, unless you want wallpaper or flooring from a villager, it's not really that important. Now you know the basics. Here is the max chart, so you know what the limits are in the game. On the left side is the maximum amount you can do for the ranking task, and on the right side is the maximum points you can receive from doing the tax at the maximum amount. Because you can get you can get 200 points max in this game, but also that is technically impossible. To build 400 homes and have 50 roommates, you need 500 villagers and amiibos total. But there's only 483 possible villagers and NPCs available today. And uh, Tommy and Timmy, for example, cannot be separated. If you get Tommy or if you get Timmy, they stay on one island. They don't get two homes, so... That only counts as one home, so it might be less than 483 possible. And I highly doubt a normal person will have time to have every single Amiibo card, or you know, have time to spoof every single character. I have these little NFC cards and they're very expensive these days. So let's be realistic and look at our rankings right now. If you are watching this video, you are most likely a superstar or a legendary designer. Superstars only require 84 points to their rank, a legend requires 119 points, and of course the go-to designer, which is a whooping 146 points, which is a lot. You can look at the benefits there, but I'll, I'll link towards a blog where you can see this more in depth. Now, how did I become a GOAT? Well, this matrix is how I did my process. I time traveled 50 days going to the island, I built 400 homes as fast as I could at the bare minimum, I had amiibos from the NFC cards I made, so I had about 15 roommates partnered because of that while the amiibo took up the regular homes and I used up every land on the map and built every facility and had one partial wall. This again did not realize until 30 days after I played this game that you're supposed to have that part of the ranking so yay but this exactly got me to 146 points which made me become a goat. Now how do you know you sold over 400 homes in Animal Crossing New Horizons? In the game there's 413 villagers, six of which are technically Sanrio so if you don't have those cards, it'll be 407. When you sell over 350 homes, you'll get less villagers on your resort island. From 4 people, let's say, on the island to 2, 2, 1, and eventually none. You have to wait the next day to get the next villager. So you're not done yet. The game is trying to make a, a dragging mechanism where you have to play the next day to get the next villager. And then if it runs out, oh, you gotta play the next day. And you keep doing that until you run out. Now, once every single villager has a home, when you go back to your resort island, you will see a lot of villagers on the island that have already been customers. If you start working again, there's no bubble above their heads. This means these are all repeat customers and therefore you've collected every villager in the game possible. Now, if you don't know how to bring villagers from your island into the resort, you buy chocolates, you give it to them, bring them to the island and sell them the scammy houses you've been doing for a while. Now, hold up. 
there is a stupid, stupid bug in the game right now. You cannot become a GOAT. Even if you get all the right points, you got 146 points, 147, 148, you cannot get it unless you sell a home or you create a roommate pairing. And even if you went to 50 days, you have 400 homes, you have 15 roommates, you can't get it still because you need to sell a home in order to activate the GOAT title, which is so stupid. And this problem happens when you sell 400 homes because you run out of homes to sell. So you can't activate this because you need to do the day quota. So there's a loophole to this bug, which is go to a home that has a roommate and break them up. After you break them up, you get the GOAT designer status. But remember, you need to balance this. So you need 400 homes minimum and 50 roommates minimum. So if you're exactly at 400 homes and 15 roommates, then you gotta like break them up, put them together, break them up, put them together every single day until you know the game activates and says, hey, yeah, you are the GOAT. You probably broke a lot of friendships in the process, but that's how it works. Now, what if you do not have an amiibo? I didn't think about that part. So I guess either you do the 80 days way and no roommates and that works, or you do 40 days and then you spend 20 minutes for 24 homes undecorating them. So you can play the real way and get 20 minutes per home without solid for a minute. By the way, that is a really, I think it's a bug or it is an incentive, which is a stupid incentive. But if you don't move for like a minute, then the game will ping you saying that you didn't do anything and the 20 minutes you spent decorating the place will be reset so it is such a waste of time so you have to keep moving for 20 minutes straight which is so annoying so i i will go for the 80 days i i, I just don't see a value doing the 20 minute decorating for a wallpaper or floor okay now let's talk about the benefits of becoming a goat designer none I already scanned my whole island and I'm a millionaire in Pokey, which I can only use up to five items per day with the waddle. So it's like, why even bother? I bought all the expensive stuff and I'm ready to cancel my Nintendo premium subscription, Nintendo. At least I can say I got every villager possible. So that's, I guess, is an accomplishment. I will say this game does not have incentive for people who give a damn about building nice homes. I wish it did, but it doesn't. So those of you who do take your time to make beautiful buildings, I salute you. You are the real Animal Crossing designers this game does not deserve. As for me, I designed this shack. So, you know, I I shouldn't be a goat designer, I'll be honest. I got Dinaria Shack. Like I Yeah, that, that tells you how this game works. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is probably my last Animal Crossing video for a while. Unless something happens with the DLC, but you know. Who knows? I hope you guys all enjoy watching this video and I hope you all become GOAT designers or you know, not. No, it's not worth it. Don't please. For, for, for your own sanity, just play the game the way you want. There's no reason to be a GOAT. Don't be me. Don't, don't, don't make the same mistake I made. Yeah.